in my bowl. Well, today's recipe is a Persian barley chicken soup. It's like a, it's a, such an interesting recipe. It actually is like making a bechamel sauce, you know, like flour and milk cream sauce. And then it has barley and chicken and parsley, but it's like a really creamy, amazing soup. It sounds so good. I've never had it. This is my barley, by the way. I had to, I kind of want to reach in and show you, but I also don't want to reach in and show you. It's just soaking in water. I had to soak it overnight. Um, I'm only making half a recipe because I only have half a cup of barley. Very sad. But um, if it's amazing, I'm going to have to go get more barley and just make more. So what did my dad say the other night? This is a recipe he had and he requested. So I've never had it before, but dad can tell us if we make it right. I'm excited to make this recipe. It has some really interesting steps. One thing I noticed is that we're going to cook chicken wings in the soup, but halfway through take them out shred the meat off the bones and then put the meat back in and i just love that because first part we have the bones and the chicken in there which is going to give the soup so much flavor because bones have all the flavor and then when we take them out and shred the meat and put it back in it's so convenient to eat later on because you don't actually have to pick through the bones or anything it's going to just have like the the meat throughout the soup so i'm very excited to have this and I do not know how to say the name. I'll put it up here. I'll put some beautiful Persian words here for you to see. That is this creamy barley chicken soup. So yeah, that's it. Our barley soaked overnight and um, we can just get going. Hi, okay, so the recipe calls for two medium carrots, but we're making half, so I need one medium carrot. But all I have are these, like, look at how small these are. They're really sad. <laughs> it's like the same as a finger. So I'm just gonna use all of these because I feel like by the time I peel them, there's gonna be almost no carrot left. Anyway, um, everything in this dish needs to be really finely chopped or shredded. So we're shredding the carrots and we're, um, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do like a super fine dice, but I'll do like a medium dice on the onion and mushroom. <laughs> cups of water to boil so this is four cups and ooh, I hope this saucepan is big enough okay I think it's gonna be fine um, and then we're gonna add in the chicken and as an American I am used to using tons of meat in in most of my recipes so of course I got a normal amount of chicken this is like a pound and a half but I really only need two chicken wings it's very little uh, I might put three in, but yeah, the recipe calls for 300 grams and I'm making half, which is 150 grams. I'm not weighing it out, but in the picture she uses three for the full recipe. So really technically I probably only need one and a half. Hi, okay, so I added my chicken to the boiling water. I also need to add the onion the barley, and something I didn't catch the first time I read the recipe, which is a little bit of rice. It calls for arborio rice, which you know is used for like risotto. It's a short grain rice. I don't have that, but the short grain rice that I do have is sushi rice. So I rinsed off a little bit of sushi rice. It might be like a half a cup or three quarters of a cup. So I'm gonna add this to our boiling pot of chicken water. Hi, 
Okay, so as you just saw, I put everything into a larger pot because it was like boiling over. Um, I think even though I thought I was making half recipe, I'm really making a full recipe with half the barley because I'm adding so much extra other amounts of vegetables and whatever. Um, <laughs> so, okay, I'm actually realizing I read through a few different recipes to make this. The recipe video, which I'm mainly following, does not make the bechamel, but I really want to make the bechamel because that's like one of the most interesting parts of the recipe that I read, but that's in a written recipe. So I'm going to be combining two. I'm generally following the video. Sha sha. Oh my gosh, she's so noisy. I'm generally following the video, but um, when you see me, the video says just heat up the milk and add it, and you'll see me heat up a little butter and flour, add the milk, and then add it. So that little extra step I think is going to make it all more creamy and thick and delicious. Alright, so it's been 30 minutes with our chicken and barley and onion boiling. Now I'm going to add chicken broth not really in the recipe. Well, the recipe calls for a tablespoon, but I'm adding like this much because this is about to go bad. And then I'm going to be adding the carrots and mushrooms and salt and pepper. And then it needs to go for 15 more minutes of simmering slash boiling. myself a sandwich. It's a grilled cheese with brie and apples and this like pickle jam. I'm really excited. <laughs> Not much to do except cook and eat. Sandwich. There's nothing better than like a really good sandwich. You know what I mean? Alright, so we... <laughs> We're a little frustrated because my dad actually found that he has this amazing written out, well, printed out recipe for the soup we're making, ashijo. How do you say it? Ashijo. 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 And it's completely different. And we could, I couldn't find anything like this online. So this is the soup that I should be making. It has kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, turmeric. Uh, salt, pepper, onions, lamb shank, rice and barley, mixed greens, including spinach, parsley, leeks, cilantro, dill weed, and mint. How flavorful and amazing does that sound? It's just so different than what I'm making. Dad, this doesn't have any cream or milk. It's got yogurt on the backside. Oh, yogurt. And it says, I don't know who wrote this. It says, this will serve about six to eight Americans, fewer hungry Persians. I love it. So I'm gonna have to make this sometime. For now, we're doing the the one that we're doing, but uh, now I have this little Persian recipe folder to go through. Soup is coming along, and my sandwich is coming along. Fantastic. <laughs> I know, I had this craving. It's brie, and it has this like pickle jam, and it just looks, it looks good. Definitely one of the best forms of a grilled cheese that I've ever had. Mm, so good. Oh man, I'm gonna link my recipe for this too. <laughs> it's just kind of spur of the moment, but wow. Just scarfed down that dream of a sandwich. That was so good. I want another one like right now. Anyway, um, it's been 15 minutes. So it's time to take the chicken out. Let's take the chicken out. And I'm going to be shredding. Sorry, guys. Okay. Where's my bowl? Here's my bowl. I'm going to take the chicken out and I'm going to be shredding it. And... Um... um, um. We're going to start making the bechamel.
even show you on film because I use my hands, it's kind of nasty, but I got all the bones out of the chicken. So the chicken is ready to go back into the soup. And this milk is, I don't know, I guess I thought it'd be thicker. I probably messed it up. I kind of rushed it when I poured it in. But um, it's thickening up slightly. And yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting close to dining time. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's kind of bland. It tastes very healthy, like wow, healthy, warm, delicious breakfast. But um, we're gonna get our taste testers' opinions, and I have a feeling we're gonna be adding lemon, maybe salt. I'm gonna add some salt right now. But uh, my opinion is not very impressed. I'm more impressed with my cheese sandwich. <laughs> All this work for nothing. Okay, let's go. Let's go see the professionals. I received intel that we need to add sumac, lemon, and mint. The mint is going to be delivered to me, and a dollop of yogurt. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe it'll help. Thank you, Dad. All right, we are we are doing up our ashajo. It did. I mean, it tasted healthy. It tasted. No, no, no. It should have so much flavor. Mm. Persian cooking is flavorful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Asha Joe. <laughs> saying something yesterday when we were watching Chopped Sorry. about mm. Persian cuisine mm. being wow underrated kind of. This it's is so underrepresented, good. isn't it? Yeah. In all the shows and stuff, Persian cooking is the French cooking of the Middle East. It's absolutely the highest cuisine. Mm. But it's often absent. But it doesn't seem to be in the. You know, we see all kinds of cuisines. Really hearty. I mean, really does stick to your ribs. This is what you mm -hmm. want in the middle of winter. It's so good. Steaming it is. It, it feels like if I was sick, I mm -hmm. think I would really want this. Yes. This is going to keep you going. Like, if you have nothing, no other way to get strength for the day, this is it, man. This is so good. It's healthy. I like mm -hmm. the texture. Is it rice or is it mm -mm. barley? Oh, barley. barley. Right. This is, this is so all about barley. And I'm what's so nice, it, yeah. the way you made it, Emma, is it's so colorful, too. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm not a soup lover, so mm. it's already kind of a low bar for me. So on the soup scales, I would give it, mm. I'd give it a seven and a half. Oh boy, no, it's much yeah. better. Oh no. On a soup scale? I just don't like soup usually that much. Mm. So that's inflated, right? Like all my soups, this is better than normal soup. Okay. All your yeah, soups so are five this and this is seven yeah. and a half. And I'm yeah. saying Got it's it, got it. Um, I think this is great. I'll give it a 10. A 10. A 10. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope that you can attempt this at home. As you saw, we ended up doing a lot of additions. So, like, you could get creative. You could add something. Make it your own, you know? I would say that's... it's. It seems like that kind of recipe. That's it! Like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Bye! Mm -hmm.